So Deputy Alexis Hind Nuts. Deputy Alexis Hind Nuts just had a funeral and there was a big procession. The community were showing their respect towards Alexis. This is Weld County. This is Colorado. So Deputy Alexis Hind Nuts was struck and killed in a hit and run crash. She was struck and killed in a hit and run crash. She was on her way to work at the Weld County Jail September 18th when she was struck by Norberto Garcia Gonzalez at the intersection of AA Street and Weld County Road 37, according to the Colorado State Patrol. So, freak accident. She wasn't even chasing this guy, but apparently he was arrested the next, get, uh, the next day, but he was uh, not, he was undocumented. So, he's um, not a citizen. Not an American. And so people are pointing out the immigration issue, which is bullshit. It is bullshit. Oh, he's here Ill illegally? Ah, let him be. Like, you should. You shouldn't be a racist piece of shit, but um, common sense immigration reform. The reason why people hate DeSantis is because he forces the rest of you rat bastards to fucking talk about the issue. And he did make, you know, Massachusetts or whatever, New England, you know, start to talk about Martha's Vineyard talk about immigration. We can't keep them here. <laughs> we don't have no space here for ourselves, let alone them. Yeah, we should start building some housing, huh? For ourselves, for our children, and maybe for some immigrants too. But um, yeah, we're not really doing a good job taking care of ourselves, are we? Not doing a good job, but uh, interesting how right wing you turned into. They can't stay here. <laughs> huh. A witness reported Garcia Gonzalez ran into the cornfield after the crash. He was arrested the next day in the Fort Collins area. So Norberto just ran into the cornfield. I mean, did he just crash? Was he drunk? Was he? How did he get a car? God, I mean, he's just. I mean, it's um. He's been arrested, so we don't have to say that the person is wanted or at large, right? Like that Abel Acosta or several other people that are at large. And R.I.P. R.I.P. I, I like good cops. I like good people. I like Andy Griffith. I like um, Bass Reeves. And I like the Black Panthers and Cop Watch. And people might think that's a little bit weird. But essentially, the Black Panthers aren't just policing their own communities, but they're policing the police. So they're policing the institutions that have been oppressing their people as well as the, their own people. And I bet you when they're policing their own people, they're not being a bunch of fucking, you know, twats. If you watch cops work sometimes, I think a cop could run up to Anne Frank or Frederick Douglass or J.C. Dugard. In fact, cops went to J.C. Dugard's house and they didn't know she was in the backyard because they was being so damn friendly with her abusers. They didn't know at all that she was in the backyard. But that's uh, how come cops can't tell the difference between the victim and the perpetrator? How come they can't tell the difference between... Sometimes they come to the scene and they want respect and, you know, the victim needs to be heard. So you need to separate people so you can get the different versions. But if the victim needs to be heard and this is their one opportunity, you're on the scene and then they start yelling. But then you get scared because they're yelling. Well, clearly it's their fault. And the other people are all confident and calm and collected because they got, you know, they're empowered. I wonder if being, I used to make a joke all oh, because he's got a badge and a gun that makes him good. What if that is the problem? You need to empower people. So, I'm going somewhere else. So, empowerment, okay? Um, empowerment it makes you good because if you know that when you stand up against crime, that, you know, she got ran and hit and they arrested the guy who ran and hit her. But how many people would have, you know, if you weren't a police officer, would have got hit in a hit and run crash and maybe they would have found the person? Maybe they wouldn't. And then, you know, uh, five years down the road, some distant family members, hey, where the heck did... Where the heck did that Alexis go? RIP to Alexis Hind Nuts. It is a little bit unfair that police officers, you know, are like respected more than the rest of us because we're all, you know, we're all capable of lots. We're all capable. And, um, yeah, and to err is human. And so to think a person with power couldn't mess up, of course they could mess up. But, uh, she was just working at a jail, so I don't, I can't even, you know, she was just working at a jail, and a, an undocumented person just crashed into her, you know, probably what, running through the red light, 
Did she see him? Did she notice, you know, something weird? Did she think about arresting him? And then he, you know, guns it and uh, hits her. Well, what exactly had happened? But essentially, what did Alexis Hine nuts do for the people that, you know, for the a cab bastards? What did Alexis Hine nuts do? She didn't deserve this. She had a decent job. She was a jailer. You got to have a place to put your criminals and you got to have somebody look at, you know, look over those people. She was driving to work, so she had a job. For the ACAB bastards, I don't understand them because, but I'll tell you why I like, uh, so I like the Black Panthers because, you know, they are police officers, but they're also police in the police. So when a police officer would pull them over, the Black Panthers were right there too just to make sure violence, assault, the big crimes, right? Don't rape, don't hit, don't steal, don't kill. Don't bear false witness, don't torture, don't enslave. Don't abuse. So, RIP to Alexis Hine Nuts. Say her name as many times as possible to the earth. She's still alive if you're still talking about her. Her presence, her legacy. Alexis meant something, right? Alexis was a person and she had a spirit and there was, there was more to her than just but uh, her being a police officer. So uh, we already arrested the guy. We're going to get some justice. Now we need to have a conversation with the rest of us about, in society. This is bullshit. We don't need to have this type of shit happen. Sometimes bullshit happens. But uh, is there something that we can do? So when I think about Bass Reeves, he was a police officer during the, he was a black police officer. <laughs> he was black during the Wild West. So I don't know if that was, you know, a t uh, token in his favor or a token against him. Since in the South and in America you had the slavery, well, the Wild West was the Wild West, and is it possible that a black man could be a sheriff or a U.S. Marshal out here? I guess it could be. And so Bass Reeves was a, a black police officer, made like a thousand, two thousand arrests. Since he was just a cop, but um, he was a moder modernizing, a um, moderating force. He was a civilizing force. You got the Wild West, everybody just acting a damn fool, and you got this one black dude who's the sheriff. So I think that a good man in the position of a sheriff could be a very moderating force. Yeah, I want good government. I want good cops. I want good laws. Who doesn't want good cops, good laws, and good government? Just criminal fucking piles of shit. Unlawful criminal motherfucking piles of shit. I want to be able to go drive to my job or my business and work 12 hours, 8 hours, 24 hours, maybe put a three-day shift but be able to come back and everything that I work for is still intact and still here. I've been getting stalked for two years in Castilla and Conejos County in Colorado. And it's bullshit. It's absolute bullshit. Whoever my stalker is, go fuck yourself. I don't want you around me. I don't want you around my family, you sick fucking weird motherfucker. And in some respects, I'll thank you, you know, because... You showed me how little everybody else in this world gives a damn. A witness reported that Garcia Gonzalez ran into a cornfield after the crash. He was arrested the next day. Here's, sorry, usually I show the picture in the beginning. But here's a picture of Alexis. R.I.P. to Alexis. And that's another thing. She's gorgeous, right? Stunning, gorgeous. She didn't have to be a police officer. She could have been a somebody's wife, some rich man's wife. Should have or could have been a you know I don't know some modeling or something. But instead, said I want to you know do something. I want something with grit. Construction work. You want to do some farm labor and work. A police officer. Okay, you get to be a police officer. So R.I.P. to Alexis. The last thing is um, Andy Griffith. Andy Griffith. The whole idea of police is that you you got to have some kind of, even, you know, amongst like Al Capone and like your hardened criminals, they got some kind of police and organization amongst themselves. So to, what we need is good police. That's what we need. Or we need to deputize all of us. All of us need to be deputized. And then we are all empowered. And then with that equal, you know, with that equalness, Okay, so Andy Griffith. You know why Andy Griffith is such a badass? I'm going to tell you why Andy Griffith is such a badass. Andy Griffith 
He didn't carry a gun. Andy Griffith would just go from, you know, uh, incident to incident trying to solve people's problems just with the, his namesake, with his reputation, just with his concern. He listened to that person's side. He listened to that person's side. And he came up with different ideas and different suggestions on how they could work out their issues. He actually gave a damn about the people. They gave a damn about him. And because he used his name and reputation, he didn't have a gun. He was going to organize, you know, work this out as best as he could without... All the fucking insanity and craziness. Get down on the ground! Yeah, get down on the ground! Pow, 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 pow! Oh my god! What have we done? What have you done? That's for damn sure. Not only did Andy Griffith use his reputation, not only did he not have a gun and he would use his reputation to uh, go solve problems, but Aunt B would be there and she would bake breakfast or bake cakes for the people in the morning. Give them a nice breakfast. Otis was the town drunk, so he would get drunk they found him on the street, and that's illegal, so they would put him in the jail. And then the next morning, this, we didn't hate you, right? You got drunk, and who knows why you keep on getting drunk, and it's annoying to have to arrest you and put you in jail, whatever. But you're not a bad person. We're not going to, you know, use violence and terrorism and uh, all the worst, you know, uh, jail things that people could do in order to get submission. Ultimately, you just want someone to talk to. What's up? You you got a it's it's pathological. It's a chemical addiction at this point. You're you're gonna be screaming. Who's gonna you know stay with him when he's screaming through his withdrawals? So when we get to that point, when we're ready to be with the person to stop them from you know drinking alcohol, so be with them. So when they're screaming through the withdrawals. He got drunk and passed out on the sidewalk. I said, why not just let him be? And then, you know, maybe pick him up the next morning and maybe brush his hair and buy him breakfast. You know what I mean? So there is a, a love and peace and goodness in Mayberry that I haven't seen in America my entire life. My God, ever since I've been a kid, cops have been fucking with me. And it's not because... I'm going around committing crimes. It's because they're insecure motherfucking piles of shit. And so when they see a young man, you know, driving a car, it freaks them the fuck out because it's like, oh my God, we're basically equals. And, and instead of thinking, I mean, I guess we are, but in my mind, I'm like, you guys are the ones in charge and I'm just kind of growing, you know, up through your all's institutions and through your system. So... I want good cops. I want good cops. I don't want criminals. It'd be nice if everybody on the block was against child abuse and against, you know, the big crimes and for a civil society and they want to vote. That'd be nice as hell. God, if you guys are like me, maybe you want to read a couple books, have a book club, play some chess. I want what's best for you, what's best for my neighbor. And if you don't, you know, want to talk to me, that's fine. But if I look over to my neighbor's house and I see that they got a brand new fence or they got a brand new whatever car playground equipment I don't give a crap I'm happy that you're doing well you're moving on up I'm happy for you I don't look over at your things and say God I want to take those things no I'm happy that you got a house I'm glad that you got a, a fence I'm glad you got a vehicle now you can drive back and forth and the better and stronger that you are that's more you're increasing the property value. You've got a fence. You've increased the property value. That increases my property value. You're making the community better. You're cleaning up the community. Instead of keeping up with the Joneses, instead of being jealous of my neighbor. Oh my God, they got they got a fence and they got this and they got that and I don't. And so some people might look at the neighbor doing well and think, oh, I'm going to take them. Nah, I'm going to wait for that asshole to go get a fucking job and then I'm going to take all his fucking earnings, everything that he sweated for. I'm going to fucking take every bit of it. Well, he went to a job for eight hours. He left his goddamn home for eight hours. Cops don't fucking do their job. And he grew up in a house of abuse, so he don't have, you know, the standard support system that the rest uh, of you all have if you had good parents if you had good parents thank your lucky stars because uh america doesn't pick up it's kind of a bittersweet thing but um bobby fisher america didn't give a shit about bobby fisher getting beat up by the cops we are seeing reform we are seeing better things marijuana is legal in a bunch of states so we keep progressing and as long as we continue to progress then i think we'll be okay 
Mayberry is awesome. Andy Griffith, just the image. We need the image. We need the idea. A sheriff without a gun? Yeah. He comes up and says, hey, what's going on? Because if it is a mental health thing, then that means that person needs to talk. And if you didn't have fucking five minutes to talk, <laughs> and that could have prevented a fucking terrible... Th- what? You're a piece of shit. That's how I am, though. I feel like Chris Farley died, and I'm just, you know, I don't know, 16 or something in Kentucky, uh, laughing at his jokes and, you know, tirades on Saturday Night Live. But you could tell. You could tell that Chris Farley was going down. He's all fucking sweaty. Looked like he was doing a bunch of fucking eating and cocaine and a bunch of heart attack shit. He was just doing Jim Belushi heart attack shit. And I remember in the back of my mind, is anybody around Chris Farley telling him what... Should I reach out to Chris Farley? It looks like he's about to kill himself. It looks like he is spiraling downwards fast. And somebody needs to reach out and talk to him. Marilyn Manson. They asked him about Columbine, and they said, what do you want to say about the people of Columbine? And he had said, I don't want to say anything. I We should have listened, and that's the thing that nobody did. One guy, he had told, uh, it was a Colorado guy, maybe 10 years ago or five years ago. I don't know, but he's he's an older man now, but he was saying that he was pissed off in school. You know, he's having some issues at home and he's going to school and he's just that people are being mean to him and he just got pit, he got into a dark place and he thought he was going to do some, you know, real t- t- terrible things until one of his classmates invited him over for a blueberry pie party, a blueberry pie party. Could you imagine going to a blueberry pie party? And he said they ate so much blueberry pie and laughed and giggled and they had so much fun. Yeah, yeah, so... Basically, you all being a bunch of fucking psychos and not giving a goddamn fuck. Did you try giving the person some blueberry pie? When I think about Christian Glass, how could... The only way he could not have been crazier when they showed up is if he was a psycho. And was like, okay, these motherfuckers are... They've lost their fucking shit. They've lost their goddamn shit. And Christian Glass was loved. Christian Glass was loved. I, know, I just, nobody should be killed. So RIP to Alexis and RIP to Christian in the same breath. Thou should not murder. We shouldn't be killing each other. And just because you're a police officer, I don't think that makes you a bad person. We live in a democracy. And if you didn't want to vote, you didn't want to read the Constitution, fuck you. I'm tired of these piles of shit, these accelerationist dumb motherfuckers. You want a revolution where it all burns down? Okay, I can kind of understand. But do we get a Constitution and a three branches of government? Do we get elections? When we uh, have a brand new system? No? Okay, well then I don't want the system that you're trying to bring about. I would like to actually be, I would actually like to try electoral and constitutional, you know, reform. You know, actually try to do it. Anyways, for right now, thou shalt not murder. Thou shalt not murder. So, if anybody agrees with that, you know, like, comment, subscribe, share. But if you're okay with the criminality and the awfulness and the the bloodshed, but then ignore it and don't say shit. Don't say shit to nobody and don't do shit. Keep being the big old pile of shit that you are and you'll keep on seeing this dumb shit will continue to happen.